yes. I really do. Baby, that's what we are. We are big babies. How you guys doing? I hope you're doing wonderful. I hope you're doing fun. I hope you're discoing. I hope you know this is the true gospel. All right, what a day in the market. If you know me, this is TLT. If you know me, you know what I would say. Golly, how how narcissistic I am. Nobody knows you, man. Okay, good. Uh, this what I'm telling right now is. The price action found sellers at the 10 day moving average at TLT. Okay, so T 10 day moving average and an older price memory. So, what do we do? We look at places where the sellers gather. As I said last time, they gathered here, and this place was the 38th Feb retracement of from this high to this low. So, now Let's do it. Why don't we do that? Let's do that. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. This is enough because because the Fibonacci. This is thirty eight. So, so it, they found sellers at the ten day moving average. Let's look at the mighty king. Whoa. So this is the my trading view because it get, it gets updated faster. So what do we do usually before I buy anything at all? Say I'm gonna buy uh, gold, okay? So I look at the gold correlation. Now, before I buy gold, I have to look at the dollar. I look at the Fibonacci extension, okay? Where are we? Where is we? Okay, let's, let's look at it the other way. So from this low, this is it, from this low to this high right here, okay? It's almost one-to-one -one measured move. So one-to-one, -one, also an older price memory. So what, what, what is the pattern lately? Negative correlation between the dollar and gold for sure and the market right so you should have you should have covered your shorts when you saw the one-to-one -one measured move it's expected okay good deal so what do we do after that we do the place where the buyers gather let's look let's look at it from this low okay so where are we now so according to this, this is the 23 Feb retracement right here. So this is the lines of defense for the dollar. You can pause and look. So you look at the Fibonacci retracements and you look at the older price memory, the reactionary thing. So this is going to be a support. This is going to be a support. Okay, good. So, so what do I do now? I just look at the places where the support going to be and maybe speculate for a trade. So what's what's positively correlating with the dollar and negatively correlated with the dollar. So what happened today? Happened today for the dollar, we had a bearish engulfing right here. This is supposedly a, a negative a bearish formation. It's a one day pattern. Yet you need to have you need to have uh, confirmation. So we might retrace to one of the places where the buyers gather. Let, let me let me do it again. Oh, sheesh. Sheesh, man. God. Let's do that again. So, so you look at a bearish formation, which is the bearish engulfing. So if you want to go along in the, in the, in the market, you have to see and evidence of buyers gathering at a 23% Feb retracement, 38, 50, and so on and so forth. 
If you have more than one line of defense, like an invisible, like Fibonacci or all the price memory, you're doing good. And you do the, the moving averages too. So, but the moving average is really uh, far. So this is your first line of defense. So what happened today? Bearish engulfing. We might have retracement. We might not. We have to wait for confirmation. So what happened in TLT? We sold at an older price memory. So on uh, and, uh, and a moving average, which is not good. Okay? And also, the MACD is still in bearish mode. This is still bearish mode. Stochastic is pointing up. We might have... We might have a, a price expansion to the upside, and we might not. We have to wait until tomorrow. So what happened to the uh, to the Dow? The Dow gave negative uh, uh, negative uh, formation, like a, a shooting star right here, and also uh, a rejection from uh, from an all time high right here. So you got rejection twice. This is not good but you need confirmation you have a bullish a bullish crossover in the MACD yet you have a bearish divergence you have a high a lower high you have a high higher high high lower high so it is it's bearish but it needs confirmation would I buy now no would I recommend no I don't usually recommend but no recommendation. It's more bearish than bullish. Let's look at the Qs. Same thing with the Qs. So remember we talked about the, the, the theme of head and shoulder. Today the theme is the 10 day moving average. This is not good. So if everybody sold at a 10 day moving average everywhere, that's not good. So the Qs, 10 day moving average, it's not good. It's not bearish, but it's not good. We might have. Bearish, uh, bearish retracements, but we need confirmation. Whoa, even Apple, what is going on? See, see, that's what happened. 10 day moving average, even Apple, and it's still breaking down. So, what usually happens at this time if the dollar goes down further? I really don't think it will collapse here. We might have a confirmation and usually the 50 percent uh 50 percent uh feb retracement will be a, a good place for the buyers to gather Let, let's look at another one i did for the dollar where you have the one two three reversal let's look at that okay i called it hope because i'm hopeful so the this as long as we are above this place right here, the downtrend line, we're doing fine. We might, we might test it. We might not. As long as we are above this bad boy, we're doing fine. Which is this line, the older, the older uh, resistance. So this is this is almost ninety-one fifty something. Let's look at ninety-one fifty something. What does it give me? We might go to the thirty-eight. Feb retracement at 9040, 9140. We might not. We will see. We will really see. So, in conclusion, what do I see? I see uh, smart money bought today and sold today. I see uh, a broken down uh, market everywhere in the, in, in the NASDAQ, in the Qs, and also a, a bullish. Uh, dollar that retraces uh, in a healthy way yet this bearish uh, engulfing is not a very good uh, candle it happened here and we retraced okay and it, it's sometimes so it happened here we had the, a one black crawl and we retraced we will see we will see but I, I think I think the Fibonacci retracement will help uh, will help the, the dollar in conclusion, uh, I will never touch this market uh, because of these bearish uh, formations. If the price action is below the 10-day moving average everywhere, that is not a good market to be, except in the in the except in the Dow. But overall, everything is below the 10-day moving average. Uh, please like if you like, subscribe and share. 
and, and, and be true to disco. And do remember that, that, that it's the alpha and the mega. And disco is forever!